Belinda here welcome back I'm doing a resin project today I've actually been busy with resin this morning and um, I thought I would just carry on with that right so um, I have uh, I'm gonna run through my colors very quickly because my resin is actually getting quite hot I'm using Mars Black PBA and this red that um, I think it's Naptal Carmine which is also PBA so what I've done is I've got two different reds here and um, it's the same red but one has a little more black than the other so both of them have black but just a little bit of black the reason being is because you can see here this one is transparent so I don't really want it to be completely transparent and that one's opaque so I've added a touch of black and in my black I have added a little bit of this beautiful shimmery mica powder so that's more like a metal than a black um, just to give it a bit of shimmer right so yep they're getting really hot now so what I need to do first I think is I'm just going to put down what's left here not much just in the center as you can see it's quite sticky so this canvas I have actually um, painted black and I have taped it underneath and I have taped around the sides just to make a little bit of a well so let's see how this goes as you can see it's quite thick now which is what I want so in this little cup here this is a hundred ml cup I'm hoping to get a lot more than a hundred ml um, hmm. I'm just wondering if uh, let's see how it goes if I shouldn't have just used the other jug but I do want it to be quite tight so I'll go in with some black, maybe a bit more black, and so this is the red, and I think this might be the lighter one, I'm not sure. I'm just going in with that, at least half of it. And this one would be yeah, this is the darker one, so it's kind of more like a, a burgundy now. Put that in there. So you can definitely see the difference once you know the two colours are against each other or next to each other. And then I'll go in with some more black. Now, which one did we do first? This one. And then I'll go in with this red. And then I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of black. Not much space left here, guys. Okay, 
Now, let's do this. Right guys, um, so what I do, it does actually look a little bit dark, so instead of um, torching it or using my heat gun, I literally spray the isoprofile alcohol onto it, you can see all the bubbles coming up, so the bubbles should pop on their own. And I'm just going to move this around gently. I do have my windows and my door open. That does look a little bit dark, guys. I was hoping for it to be a little bit lighter than that in parts. But we'll see. Let's make sure it's getting in there. So once it's a little bit more set, or well not really set set, in a couple of minutes, I will take this off and I'll just let it run down. So it covers the sides. So I'm not a hundred percent sure if it's just the reflection of the light. It does seem pretty dark. All right, guys. So I am not happy with this. <laughs> it actually looks like a chocolate cake. I'm not happy. So I have mixed up some more resin. And this time I'm going to use less black, so just a little bit, <clears throat> and then I'll go in with uh, the lighter red. And then the darker red which is kind of like burgundy now and then a tiny bit of black some more lighter red and some more burgundy I really wanted the the red to shine through, not so much the black. Just putting more burgundy in there. And again a tiny bit of black. And I'm going to use up this red.
So guys, what I normally do is with my cups, I hardly, very seldom when I'm using this resin, throw my cups away. I'll leave the stick inside and once it's dry, it actually just pulls out a whole lot of resin comes out. And um, that will save you from buying cups all the time. Okay, now I do have a little bit of black left over. Because that will pretty much go around um, the outside, I think. So that actually has a beautiful, like, shimmery grey colour to it. Because I added that, um, that mica powder. Okay, that should do it. So, if you're <laughs> watching this, then we have been successful. I wouldn't worry too much about um, it running off the edges because I do have it taped underneath. So just like the um, a ring pour, I am trying to open up those bands so you can see the black in between. And I don't really want to leave it absolutely center. 
So let me turn that around and have a look. Right, so I have a little bit of black here. I'm going to try put that in the center. So then I need that uh, <coughs> the center to be a little bit darker. So let's try that. Or maybe I'll just do it here. So I'm just going to start off on low. guys I'll bring you in for a close-up this is it guys um and this is what I was after a beautiful red and black rose well it's pretty much red if you look at the um the black being the shadows which is what I was after Well guys, sorry for the long video, I hope you enjoyed this one and um, if you're interested in any of my artwork, please contact me on withbade at gmail.com. Thanks guys, thanks for watching, bye.